Are the roots of our Christian holiday pagan? And if so, should we as Christians celebrate it today on Hot Topics? Hi, this is Robert Furrow. We're really glad that you found us. The comment section is open below. We would love to hear from you and consider subscribing and ringing the bell so when we put out new videos, you'll be notified. The controversy as to whether or not you should celebrate Christmas has been around for a long time, with good Christians on both sides. In our day, certainly, there are far more who are choosing to celebrate it. The cult group, Jehovah Witnesses, don't celebrate any holidays or any birthdays, and they like to go and knock on doors during Thanksgiving and Christmas and let people know that their holiday is paganistic. They're trying to rain on your parade. So what is the controversy? If they're saying that Christmas has pagan roots, first of all, what is paganism? Well, anything before the church is considered to be paganistic. Doesn't matter where it's at, any religion, whether it would be in Egypt or Rome or Greece, would have been considered pagan. So when we look back in our history, there are a lot of things that began in religion that was outside of Christianity. What kind of pagan things are done during Christmas time? Well, the ringing of bells, the lighting of candles, the giving of gifts, the singing of carols, all have their roots in paganism. And when we boil these down, they're obviously not always paganistic. Every time that someone rings a bell, they're involved in paganism or lighting a candle or giving gifts or singing songs that if you do that, you have your root in paganism. The real question is, why are we doing it? And if we are not worshiping those false pagan gods, even if they practice such things during the winter time in pagan activities, just because we give gifts today doesn't mean that we're being paganistic in our Christmas celebration. It is claimed today that Christmas looks like what Saturnalia looked like to the Romans. The Romans celebrated on December 17th through the 23rd Saturnalia. And they, they tie in a lot of what we do at Christmas time. They had parties, then we have parties. They went around singing, we go around singing. They gave gifts, we give gifts. And so they say that we are worshiping Saturn, Saturnalia. But if you went back and took someone, if you could time travel and get someone and bring them up to Christmas today and show them what we do at Christmas, they would not go, oh, that's Saturnalia they would see that we're focusing in on our savior, that we have chosen a day that we don't believe is the real day of his birth, but we have chosen a day that we celebrate Jesus Christ. And how that day was chosen so long ago, I don't know that that matters. In fact, if these roots of paganism are really there, but they are not part of the way we worship today, then I'm okay with that. I'm okay saying I have these things in my life because I'm remembering Jesus Christ and that that great gift was given to us. And I give gifts because that gift was given to us. All of these things have a different meaning for us today. Gift giving, lights on trees. Jesus brought light into the world. And so it's a good thing for us to do these things, not because they have paganistic roots, but because they mean something different to us. Now, if you're bringing a Christmas tree into your house and you're putting lights on them and you're bowing down and worshiping that tree, then we have a problem. But if you are doing it because it's a tradition that we have in America, don't let anybody come in and take away your freedom. One other point that people will bring up is from Jeremiah 10, 1 through 16, where it says, don't cut down trees, decorate them and bring them into your house. And people will look shocked until you go back and read it closer. It says, don't cut down a tree, fashion it with tools and decorate it or inlay it. They were making idols and it says, bring them into your homes and bow down to them for they can do no evil, nor can they do any good and they can't hear and they can't speak. So the idea was not just bringing a tree into your house, but it was bringing an idol into your house. And so people who don't want us to celebrate Christmas will bring this up as if it's just a tree. The question is Christmas in the Bible. The answer to that is no. There's no place in the book of Acts that they celebrated or commemorated the birth of Christ or that were given any direction in the epistles. But what we celebrate at Christmas time is certainly in the Bible, the birth of Christ and all of the things that surround it. And for me, it's a good thing for me to do it. But the real truth is, is that if you don't want to celebrate Christmas, then you don't have to. And you shouldn't let anyone judge you if you don't want to celebrate it. But if you want to celebrate Christmas, then you're free to as well. We as Christians are the most free and we can choose to celebrate it or not. 
Listen to what the Bible says in Romans 14. Receive one who is weak in the faith, but not to dispute over doubtful things. This falls in the area of doubtful things. For one believes he may eat all things, but the one who is weak eats only vegetables. It's because the meat had been sacrificed to pagan gods. And so some of them were choosing to eat it and some of them were not. It says in verse three, let not him who eats despise him who does eat, nor let him who does not eat judge him who eats. For God has received him. Who are you to judge another man's servant? To his own master he stands or falls. Indeed, he will be made to stand, for God is able to make him stand. So you have your choice because you are free as to whether or not you will celebrate Christmas. If you like this video, then click the like button below. We'll see you next time on Hot Topics.